Hello, my name is Johannes Dizogler and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple application by using C Sharp, which randomly would select names. To get started, we need to create a new C Sharp project. So, File, New, Project. Now, this project will be C Sharp Windows Form Application. And I'm just going to call this application Random uh, Names. And then just put select uh, select a winner. I'm gonna browse my desktop, and I'm just gonna call it here. Select a winner up. Click select. And click OK. Now, uh, let's close this window, the output window. It doesn't have to be this big, this window. So, OK, for this project, I need a button. And I'm just going to type here select the winner. Uh, select the winner. I'm going to create a list box to display all the names. I'm going to add a number of names here, add items. So I'm just going to put Lee, Mo, Steph, Ioannis, Cheryl, uh, who else should I put? Um, uh, well, let's leave it like that. Okay. Right. So I've got five names here. So I want to select a winner. So I'm just going to name my form. The text value will be select the winner. I'm going to double click here on my button. And I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. The first thing I need to do is create a random uh, value. So I'm just gonna type random, and I'm just gonna call it winner. Is equals to new random. And now I'm gonna create two variables. Both variables will be integers. So the first variable is i. And is equals to the list box one, list box one dot items dot items dot count. That's it. And the next variable is going to be integer, which is going to be uh, let's choose chosen item. I'll call it, and is equals to. Winner dot next, uh, and then I'm just gonna say zero, comma i, and semicolon at my statement. Uh, for the random here, let's open because the function. Let's open close bracket semicolon at my statement, and here now I'm gonna create uh, the value for the list. So I'm gonna say select list box one dot select it index is equals to oops selected index uh, is equals to uh, chosen item semicolon dot my statement and then I will set show message box with the winner so I will say message box dot show and within brackets and double speech marks, I will say the winner is colon space. Then I will say plus, and then I will se select the value here. So list box dot selected item, uh, select it item dot to string, open close brackets. And outside, some code that my statement. Okay, so let's have a look here. Why is it showing me here? Uh, wrong. 
Auto shutdown initiated. Let's have a look here. Uh, am I missing something? Seems alright. No, it's not. Okay. So we know dot new. Ah, new. Gosh, sorry about that. Dot next. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we're checking for the next value, not new value. All right, so I created my random, which is a winner. Then I created my variable i, which is the is counting, okay, the items. And then the next value, the next variable is choosing item. So it's choosing a num number in between zero and the i. Now the i is based on the list. In this case, the i is one, two, three, five. Because uh, this number can go up or I can just create here just type 5 so I can actually cancel that so it's up to you what you want to do but if you have it like this this means that you can actually put uh, values dynamically by using the form uh, I've created the previous tutorial that shows you how to do this um, so um, the list box then uh, will select an index based on these numbers and then it's going to choose an item and then basically it's going to the selected item will be set to string and it will show the item so if we click start and we have here the list and if I select the winner the winner is highlighted Steph well done Steph and then I'm going to select again the winner is Ionis well done to me the next one is Cheryl the next one is Lee the next one is Cheryl again. Mo is going to kill me. There is Mo. Okay. So that's how basically you're creating a random uh, game, little game that selects randomly names. I also have a previous tutorial which shows you how to create numbers, random numbers. The process is, is the same. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video tutorial.